a special group of guys. I'm sorry, Dennis and Brian were working today on TV, but they're trying to make careers in the, in the television business. I'm proud of those guys. But it was a special group of guys. Uh, they all came together. We were very talented. Uh, we had some great freshmen. This guy came all the way from England. We got him out of a junior college. He turned the, the uh, LSU game around when he guarded Chris Jackson. And um, it was just a great, great run. Uh, we had an advantage against UNLV, but they played a great second half. Uh, but I just can't say enough about these guys. It seems like it was 50 years ago, um, but it's great to be back. All right, <laughs> uh, for me, it's, it's just great to be back, coming all the way over from England. And we've got a brotherhood, and what we did was very special. But for me, I didn't know two years later, we have, uh, I think, the strength and conditioning coach from Georgia Tech. He's from England, and he used to watch me play. So it's inspired a whole country and being the first English player to play in the Final Four. I'm grateful. And also, this is like my second father, <laughs> this guy here. So he kept me on the straight and narrow. I wasn't the easiest player to coach. But, uh, you know, he'll be my, my second father for life. Thank you. Um, yeah, very very special group of guys. We've been in each other's weddings, seeing kids being born, and, and we're still, you know, partners to this day, still brothers to this day, coaches, coaches included. I could never think of, uh, you know, where I would be 30, you know, 30 years from that moment, and to be here 30 years with this group of guys, my mind didn't work like that. So to still see people actually celebrate us, actually remember us. I, I'm still in Atlanta in a brown town, and people talk about this team and talk about, how inspiring we were to them. It's just amazing. I, I'm, I'm so grateful to God for for just being, you know, being here and Coach Kremers recruiting me and having a program and playing with a great group of guys. Not only were they talented players, but we actually got along on the court and off the court. Our relationship and what you see was just all of us, you know, being one big family. So I don't know how many more meetings this, we're going to have like this, how many more times we're going to be celebrated like this, but I'm going to soak all this up. I love it, and I'm so grateful to have been uh, to uh, be a part of this program and a part of this tradition. Well, this is Coach Kenny Anderson. Coach Kenny, <laughs> he's the head coach of uh, Fisk University in Nashville. Yeah, yeah, Kenny. Uh, you know, coming back here, I, uh, it's um, you know, I had um, uh, I don't like talking about it, but I had um, a health issue um, about about nine months ago and I have a, a, a little stroke. I had a stroke. I don't even like talking about it, but I'll say some things and um, my my um, my vocabulary and stuff is still out of whack. So I go to Vanderbilt um, every Thursday, Vanderbilt um, therapy that I, I, I've been able to, you know, capture, you know, some of uh, uh, what I've been going through, but um, I just, I just thank God, you know, how all I, all I had, all I had was um, some, 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 some mis, some miscommunications upstairs. You know, I don't know, you know, where I would be if it wasn't for, you know, for that, for, you know. And Coach, Coach Crimmins is, is great. He was great for me. He reminds me of a, of a, of a younger version of Jack Curran, who's my high school coach. And that's one of the reasons I went to Georgia Tech. And um, I went here and just everything has changed for me. So, you know, I, I, the guys was great. Uh, the school was great. And, um, and I played in the NBA for 14 years, but I always give credit to my high school, Archbishop Malloy and Georgia Tech. That's, that's where it's all, that's where I was created to play basketball and to have the type of uh, dedication that I have and the friendships and things of that nature. The NBA was great as far as money, took care of me and my mother, you know, but it's nothing like, you know, true, true love. And I think I got it here at Archbishop Malloy and um, Georgia Tech. And that's one of the reasons I came here. And uh, my mother, it was weird. I tell you, my mother, when I was visiting Georgia Tech, came here with me on my visit and she fell in love with Coach Crimmins. And I, I, I was still, I was still, you know, wanting to go to Syracuse. <laughs> but, she, but I listened to my mother, and she was just like, you're going to Georgia Tech. It's out. Don't even say no more. And I just listened. I did everything my mother said. And uh, she said, mark my words. Watch what happens. You, you're you're going to be fine here. And I was fine. So 
I uh, I just love I love when he when Malcolm and everyone called me and told me that they was having this. It was it was just a no brainer. So I'm just happy to be a part of it. All right, we'll tell you what the second half has started, so we're going to let these guys get back to their.